What is up guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video with today's topic focusing on the new Berserker mod from this season's artifact. This new mod is obtainable via the current artifact and is quite a unique mod with the way it's designed as it can be attached to any build and will give you a huge buff after it's done. But mainly it will reward those who spec into the intellect area and play very aggressive. So the following mod is a 6 slot item and is available on the bond, mark or cloak section. The mod states that upon getting multiple super kills, receive a weapon damage buff depending on how many super kills you net. This type of mod as the name state requires a user to play aggressive if they wish to get the full benefit of the mod. I can see this being a PvP player favourite in 6v6, Mayhem, Rumble, Survival or even Trials depending. Now you're probably thinking, how does this break down for the buff? Well, on the screen now, here are the numbers and times that relate to how many kills you need to activate what. So with one kill with a super, you'll get a 20% weapon buff for 15 seconds. Two kills, you get 26% weapon buff for 25 seconds. Three kills is bugged and goes down to 20% for some odd reason for 35 seconds. And four kills will give you a 36% weapon buff for 45 seconds. As you can see, you gain a significant weapon boost upon a wide number of kills, and your time limit increases upon how many kills you stack quickly. You gain a 10 second buff for each stack of kills you get, and can last to up to a full whopping minute, which is quite a lot when you can also stack with other weapon buffs. The boost in damage can't stack any further past 36% for 4 kills, but can stack with weapon perks such as Vampage, Kill Clip, Multi Kill Clip, etc and allow you to garner an even stronger boost in overall damage, but it does not stack with any super ability buffs like Ward of Dawn, nor does it stack with weapon boost mods such as high energy fire. So think about it, if you have a 120 hand cannon with this perk active, this should be enough for you to constantly 2 tap until you run out, but adding on damaging perks can also increase this further and make the weapon even more deadly, although on certain weapon types it won't push them into the one shot area. This is quite extraordinary as not only can the weapon buff stack and time limit can be increased for a very long time, but it gives intellect build more focus into making them dominant and really drives home into putting your fullest attention into build in mind. Now of course the build in mind will need to focus on a roaming super to get the full buff going and then a weapon of your choosing that will get the job done. At the same time you'll need to have a high intellect stat for faster super cooldown and ideally a exotic weapon or armor that will grant you your super energy upon kills, so you can really stay in the flow. Prime examples of great roaming supers to use are Gunslinger, Arc Strider, Stormcaller, Chaos Reach, Dawnblade, Void Walker for Nova Bombs, Sentinel, Striker, and Sunbreaker. Now you may have noticed status not being here, and that's because for some odd reason, the mod doesn't trigger upon status kills at all, and it's been reported by others as well not working for them. I'm not sure if it's because the game defines super kills differently for the status class compared to the light class, but unfortunately that's just how it is. On screen now you can see a build that I created using the mod with my Warlock Chaos Reach loadout, and I've been using this intensively in PvP with a few varying results. The build performs exceedingly well when you get into the flow of it, and as long as I actively use my super and work with my team, I can consistently get a 2 tap kill against anyone which is fun but also extremely dirty. As you can see, this is what you really need to have to fully expand on the mod and to make it work in your favour. This covers both PvE and PvP aspects and can allow you to play within the favour of the mod strengths very hard. As long as you have a roaming super of your choice and a weapon with super regen if you like to at your side, then you'll become a monster in whatever environment you're in. Overall, what I'm trying to say is do not sleep on this mod, as the buff received is very, very useful, as this is the first time we've had a mod that works in this way. So if you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content if you dig that type of stuff, and link is down below. But once again, thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you all in the next one.